hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing if you're new hey do not forget to smash that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber mwah. thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate it thank you thank you thank you okay so it's that time of the month we have to pick our july tbr yes oh my god i really love this color i've been i did it yesterday myself and okay okay that's that's unnecessary information but in case you're interested yeah i did it yesterday and i really love the color it's a blue gel paint i got on aliexpress and i i'm in love i'm in love it looks good okay so today i'm picking out my t july tbr okay and i'm going to be doing it a little bit differently you guys already know i normally do the uh tbr prompt tbr draw picks my my monthly reads and all that but this time around i want to read what i feel like reading i don't want to use the prompts i sat down looked at my bookshelf and picked out the books i genuinely want to read and it consists of books that i'm going to be body reading with my friends these friends are ore kenny and i also promise okay yes so these three friends of mine i'm going to be body reading with them but different books yeah i'm, I'm going to explain as i show you guys the book so these are all the books i selected um yeah and this one at the top here is the one that i wrapped with my brother that i always pick with the prompt job but i decided oh my god this is heavy oh jesus <laughs> and i decided to just uh select one and i'm going to explain why i selected that particular one so here we have one two nine books normally i read about eight books in a month so it depends on how interesting the book is if the book is very very interesting i'm going to eat it up like this and then if it is slow then it dulls me down so anyway let's get straight into the video this is number 11 i picked this because i'm supposed to body read this particular book with my friends ore and kenny but it's been wrapped so we decided to read this one and i know which book it's inside why do i know which one is inside because i've, I've opened the other bigger books and i know how it feels i feel like it's not an ad back Oh, did I just say and? It's not hey add back, so it should probably be this one. And I'm guessing it is when we wear fireflies or something like that. So let's do this together. Okay, I always let you guys look at it first. So let it be the book, oh, because <laughs> we played this game one time also where I opened the book and it turned out to be another book. So I had to open two of this. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, it is. It is when we wear fireflies yes it is and it was upside down sorry <laughs> so when we were fireflies by abu Bakr adam ibrahim so we've been planning to body read this that was even the main reason why i bought it in the first place so we are reading this together uh wow i love the font it's gonna be so easy to read it has large fonts and it's very floppy too so i don't really know what it is about but i would really love to go into it blind i i realize that i really like going into bo books oh god what's happening in english <laughs> i realize that i really like going into books blind because that way i don't have high expectations or low expectations i just read to enjoy myself so that's one these three books i'm going to be body reading with ore so the first one is dr mm. what's happening in english the first one is Dating Dr. Deal by Nisha Sharma. Actually, Aurel was like, uh, she doesn't want to read this book alone. She feels like she might not be pushed to or she might not be interested in reading it. And I've bought it for, I've gotten it a while back. So I was like, okay, let's body read it together then. I feel like it's about a doctor and maybe a patient. Is it a patient? I don't know. But doctors, I'm interested. If you guys have watched the Grey's Anatomy, you know what I'm talking about. All these stuffs where doctors are dating doctors or something like that i don't know i don't know what i'm saying ignore what i just said <laughs> so the next one we're reading is the middle daughter by chica unigwe um this is an african literature book and people say it's very very heavy so i want to cry i don't even know what it's about but seriously the font is given it's very 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 beautiful font it's like something that you will fly through the god of good looks yes the two of us bought this book because it's beautiful of course and also because of kenny kenny has read it and when we saw her read, she read it on a kindle so she was like oh my god the book is actually really good and oh we don't know what it's about but she says 
she didn't know what it was about before she read it so she just went into it blind also so we're going to do that but i feel like maybe it's about gods but that was the same i love the cover so much okay so the next three books that i hear are books that i randomly picked myself that i felt like okay I'm, i know i want to read these books i've been pushing them away i really i'm having this hodge to read them restore me by tahara Murphy. This is in the Shatter Me series. I've already read Ignite Me and I want to continue reading. I want to finish the series. Honestly, it's not like it's a boring series. It's actually very interesting, but I don't know why I'm slow with it. But if you don't know, it's about this girl that she cannot touch anyone because if she touches anyone, the person will die. So that's the book. It's a dystopian kind of book. So in Ignite Me, so many crazy things happened and I was so like, there was character development with Aaron yeah let me not say anything before i spoil it then another one love and other words by christina lauren i heard that this is a friends to lover book guys i bought this book because of the cover and also because of the rave uh, over it here do you see how beautiful it is i have high expectations for that one because the amount of things i've heard crazy and i'm going to be reading the right move by liz stonford i read my high and every other person did not like my high but me me i ate that book up i loved it i loved it with all my heart it was so good it was so good i liked it it was funny i was giggling i was laughing the banter everything oh no oh no so i liked it and then the right move seems to be everyone's favorite every other person's favorite so i feel like if i ate up my eye then there is this one i would probably be head over heels in love with this one so yeah then i'm going to be body reading these two books with my friend promise the first one is cut up so she got me the right move and my high and she's been waiting for me so we can body read this together because she has read right move and my high so i decided okay since i'm going to read the right move let me just jump directly into cut up also so we're going to be body reading this one i don't even know which of the characters this one is about but i know that i should love it and i had I, I think i saw that the last i don't know if it's the last book but the next book after this is is out or is coming out it has a purple kind of cover when i see i leave for these covers you see how the covers are so good like they give this kind of sunset sunrise vibes and the purple one gives a kind of like um uh this moonlight is it moonlight northern light vibe i guess yeah and the last one is the nightingale no 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 my god not the nightingale i wanted to say the great alone by christine anna this will be my first book by this author it's i think it's supposed to be sad and i'm supposed to cry so i have two books here that are going to make me cry so yeah those are all the books i hope to get to in july and let me know which ones you think i should get to no 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 of course i already showed you I'm actually getting to all this because almost all of them are body reads. Just three of them are not body reads. And those ones that are not body reads, I'm going to probably just fly through them before I start the body reading with my friends. I don't know. Yeah. So on my Kindle, of course, I have a book that I will read on my Kindle. Because I can I, I find myself gravitating towards my Kindle at night. Because I cannot carry book and be reading on the bed so i'm going to be reading the ashes and the star cursed king by carissa broadbent honestly i'm not really excited about that one i'm going to be body reading with uh, promise also but i'm not really excited about it because i didn't really i liked it but not liked it like according to the hype judging by the hype it was not up there you know it was not up there it was around down here even though i gave it a four stars i did not like it as much as i thought you know I'm like, wait where did this come from no <laughs> oh my god and then i'm going to be reading the housemate is watching by frida mcfadden and i'm also going to be reading uh siege and storm by liba dugo i'm reading those three books on my kindle so when i pick up my kindle that those are the books i'll gravitate towards first yeah how many books do you have on your Kindle? Because I have 200 and... Let me check. Yep, I have 301 books on my Kindle. I don't know if you can see. 301 books on my Kindle. <laughs> oh. 
So I'd like to know how many books you have on your Kindle or on your e-reader or any other this thing you have. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces, subscribe. Okay. Deuces, I love you. <laughs> we need to take a thumbnail. Mm. How do I carry all these things like this? Eh, eh. I'll be like, oh, thumbnail is always my problem. Always intuitively chose my TBR into it. Mo There's a mosquito. Oh, Jesus. Bye.